So before we get started on this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors of this video. PCSpecialist.co.uk helped fund this project. They also helped build this project and uh, they were the people that actually sent the PC. So I really want to say a big thank you to them. Fantastic to have them as a sponsor. Great company to work with. I really appreciate their help and support. So if you guys are interested in building your own gaming PC, maybe you want to check out uh, you've got a budget in mind in your head and you want to see if you can get the components you think you can get. Uh, go ahead and check out their website, it's really really cool and it helped me out to no end because sometimes I'm not entirely sure whether I can fit the motherboard and graphics card that I want in the case that I like. So yeah, go and check out their website if you're interested, but again, PCSpecialist.co.uk, thank you for being our sponsor, it's really awesome. So let's get on to the unboxing itself. Now it, everything extra that came with the case, came with the graphics cards, like cables, nuts and bolts, manuals for example, came in a little welcome pack along with a support guide, which is really good because I'm guessing their support is always really busy. I bet people phone up all the time. How do I turn the computer on? I don't know where the switch is. They've got a little guide to help people like that. There are some people out there, like out there. So they put a little nice uh, guide in the welcome pack and that's really useful. Uh, the packaging itself, no complaints. <laughs> It's packaging. I, it's an unboxing. It's kind of awkward. It's like, yeah, unboxing. Let's talk about the cardboard. Um, it did its job. The PC arrived in one piece. Um, the PC's not scratched. It didn't fall over. It's not broken. Yeah, it's packaging. It worked. So while I fumble and take off this plastic, I just want to say I the design choice I went with was a minimalist design, red and black. So the case is really, really nice. It's an NZXT case, and I'll talk about the specification in just a moment. Um, but the colors are so nice. So it's like a really nice matte black and the matte finish is really smooth. It doesn't really look that smooth on the video, um, but the gloss plastic is really nice as well. It's a really nice combination and it goes well with the motherboard. So build specification, NZXT 440, uh, brilliant case, covers the power supply, which is what I was looking for. Looks really, really nice. Gigabyte X99 Gaming 5 motherboard, which looks absolutely delightful. Uh, we've got an Intel i7 8 core i7 5960X, which is an absolute beast and maybe overkill, but I'm going to be doing a lot of video rendering. So, yep, that's what that is. We've got a Titan Black GTX, which I imagine is going to be quite a controversial part of the build. Uh, it suited my needs and that's kind of the end of it. Um, a lot of people probably don't need a Titan Black and it's probably better cost effective options for those folks. Also got 32 gigs worth of HyperX DDR4 Predator RAM and that is just ridiculous. Um, again, some people might call that overkill, but um, yeah, trying to future proof this beast. Uh, we've got 240 Kingsington SSD as well as a one terabyte hard drive. Basically the 240 is a small amount, but it's for the main operating system and maybe some core programs. And then we've got a modular Corsair 850 watt um, power supply as well as a H60 Hydro series from Corsair and also Windows 8.1. So let's take a closer look at the components and you can uh, take a closer look. So we've got the motherboard, we've got the graphics card there, plenty of space to do a SLI if you want, the, uh, the cooler, and you can see the RAM there which looks really really nice. Glad it was in black because it kind of blends in with the background. So yeah, with the power supply hidden, this case looks really really um, neat. Uh, the cable management done by PC Specialist was really impressive. You can barely see any cables apart from the obvious ones from the graphics card. Um, yeah, it's just a really neat build. Um, it's color coordinated as well, which my girlfriend was very impressed by. Black and red, all very good. And yeah, that's the PC. It's an absolute monster. Looks fantastic. I'm going to be doing a review of this PC, showing you guys some videos. Going to be starting doing some live streams. Going to be getting myself ready for GTA 5 on the PC so if you're interested in more PC gaming videos be sure to be subscribed and I really appreciate you guys checking out this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you've got any questions be sure to let me know in the comment section and I'll see you tomorrow take care